Welp. I guess they say everything is better down where it's wetter. <laughs> Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back for some more Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to give this a try. This giving aircraft a purpose, 1.1.1, that just came out. Um, the creator of this mod actually specifically requested that uh, people record it and stream it, if I can find where that is. Yeah, there we go. So I figured, yeah, may as well give it a go. Um, I've wanted to record more Kerbal Space Program, but I felt like kind of everything's been done. Here's my mod list, by the way, in case you want to take a peek at that. Uh, but yes, we're going to start a new game, Career Gap. Uh, I chose the logo of one of the companies that's in this contract pack, Right something or other. Difficulty, we're just going to go for normal. Welcome to SSI Aerospace. We are an engineering cooperative focused on developing aerospace assets for use by the Kerbal Space Program. Based out of the research and development facility at KSC, our partner companies include the Ford Carriage Company, Tesla Electrics, and Wright Bicycle Company, and my own company, Enigma Industries. I'm Enigma Kerbin, founder of SSI, and I would like to extend an invitation to your organization to join us. We've developed a number of technologies that we need delivered. Oh, hey, interesting. The uh, grammar there. Sorry, I'm, I'm a linguist. This is uh, actually characteristic of my home region. Anyway, uh, along with myself to the R&D Center for the next SSI Aerospace Technology Conference on time. If you do this for us, you will get immediate access to our experimental parts for use in your own endeavors. So we'll keep the parts good. So it looks like I need to have a like second seat or something like that. So it looks like we're just building an extremely basic and cheap rover. Let me look at the um, parameters of the contract again. Uh, sorry, that's not the contract. Here we are. Must have a cubic octagonal strut. Alright, I'm just going to stick one on right now. Have an external command seat. So, uh, under pods. Stick down a couple of these. And for the rest, I think I'm just going to montage this. And here we are. I think we're all ready to go. I have a pilot. I have all of these parts. Let's launch and see what happens. So we're going to the uh, administration center. I guess I could have locked steering on my back wheels, but I don't think that that's strictly necessary. We should have enough power. I tried not to... Um... Where are you, Valentina? Oh, there you are. Sorry for the clicky noise of my scroll wheel there. All right, yeah, that's not too far away. And our electric, actually, huh? I mean, we, we have enough power, but uh, it drains a little faster than I'd like. I guess I ought to be. All right, so, all right, we have our EVA report now. That's all the science we're gonna get for this particular thing. Let's, uh, let's see if it falls apart when we go to two times. Mm, it looks really stable, actually. Will we risk three times? Yeah, there's like no suspension. It's um, vehicles with a lot of suspension. They get screwed up by time warp. So we actually seem like we are having no trouble at all with this. So we don't want this to tip forward. I'm trying to slowly... Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Well... See, and that, Valentina, is why you have to be careful when you're going up slopes. So now that you've watched the instructional film and you've seen your warning, let's see you. There you go. All right. You learned your lesson. That's what we want to see from our bright young Kerbinauts. All right. Let's pick up Enigma here at the administration building. So uh, can I just square bracket switch to you, I guess, now that I'm, now that I'm here? Oh, interesting. All right. Nice piece of engineering you got there. Well, there's no need to be sarcastic, Enigma. Gosh, thought this was going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. Uh, you should be able to just teleport up there. Yep. Oh, and I can, I can now have a second EVA report, because I have a second Kerbal. So, Enigma, you now work for me. How's it feel? 
that's what I thought. So we just need to recover, yes. All right, looks like we did it. Contract complete, we joined SSI Aerospace. Got a bit of money, recovered our vehicle. All right, shoreline tour, seat six, build and fly a glider, drive a tour. Well, we want to do all these things. Um, although we can only hold two contracts right now. So this uh, gives us virtually nothing, just a little bit of science. That also gives us virtually nothing, and this gives us virtually nothing. Okay, well, let's build and fly a glider then. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. So this is six external command seats. Plus a driver, I guess. And this is the same kind of thing, shoreline tour. Yeah, six seats. Um, this one pays considerably better. Let's accept that one as well. So now let's take a look at our active contract Living our Carmen, da 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 da, getting the glider up to the air, saying da 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 do, do boop boop do. Glider must have a volunteer, sure. Command seat, wings, not have any engines after launch, so yes, a glider. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So if we had a parachute, this would be no problem at all. But we'll give it a shot with what we have make a new thing so let's we're gonna need one of these but just with a tiny bit of fuel we just need enough to get ourselves off the ground that's the thing we need uh, structural here Oop, you did not attach there you go let's just montage the rest of this <laughs> I think our murder glider might be just about ready. I think I could probably use a few more girder segments to make it even more um, okay. Oh no, I, I sorry, I left one little thing out. I need to actually put an external command seat. That's where Valentina needs to be. So not in the command pod. Command pod is only there for the reaction wheels because otherwise, uh, well, there are no control surfaces. They're just, well, I just have these little um, tail fins to act as my wings. Uh, we'll see. We're just going to launch vertically and see if we can somehow land in one piece. Let's do it. So first of all, let's make sure that we... Yes. Not have any engines after launch, get airborne, and then land safely anywhere. So we fulfill all of the requirements. Let's put on our SAS. Throttle doesn't matter because uh, it's a solid booster. All right, this should get us in the air. I'm not sure that we're going to have enough time to actually turn that motion into anything, but let's see. Okay, we're not going very fast. Nope, going nose first. Okay, well, it counts as us having landed safely. Look at that uh, roll cage I designed. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, okay, Val. Better get inside. <laughs> Never trust me again. <laughs> but it worked. It completed the contract. All right, I think we're going to... Uh, finish up this episode with a nice leisurely tour of the seaside so we need to make a bus I'll do that real quick and then I'll meet you on the runway I don't know if we're gonna have enough electric charge I think we 
probably will. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to have 1,100 electric charge. Yeah, we'll probably be okay. Bill, pop you in. Actually, I suspect maybe the bottom one here is actually the driver's seat, but whatever. All right, welcome to the runway. So actually, Bill is in the driver's seat. I didn't even have to uh, fix anything there. Oop, okay. That's not what you're supposed to be doing, Bill Guard. Huh. So are you a separate entity? No, you're not a separate entity. Interesting. Oh, well, I should be taking EVA reports as I do this. Come to think of it. Just worth a tiny bit of science. Well, Bill Guard will just be our little spirit animal. The bus is pulling hard to the right, I think, because of Bill Guard. So I can't say leave seat. Yeah, you are kind of... You are a separate entity, but I can't switch to you. That is a weird bug. Anyway, I'm supposed to start the tour over here, so let's get the time moving. I'm kind of tempted to say deploy the parachute and just see what happens. Yep. Yep, that slowed us down. Oh, now you're like a jigglypuff. Okay. Well, this is exactly how I pictured my first bus tour <laughs> to be. <laughs> oh, this magnificently broken game. How far away are you? Oh my god. Oh. It... Oh, well, that got rid of your parachute. What about jumping? Will that make you... No, you can't jump. Making you run. Will you fall out, maybe? No, there's, there's nothing else. Tell you what, let's actually give this a try. Let's go to the Space Center. We're going to see if we can select Bill Guard separately. No, we can't. Aha. Uh -huh. I finally remembered about the trim feature. You hold down Alt, and then you push the key that you um, want to modify, or the direction you want to modify. It resets your center point. So this was constantly pulling to the right. I just held Alt-A for a while to apply a nice constant computer eye. Okay, let's... What is this? Is this going to count as Tundra? Ooh. If I click really quickly, will I be able to... Well, folks, we're out of electric charge. Although, incredibly, Billgard is actually keeping us moving. Wow. Forget everything mean I ever said about you, Billgard. Well, our Billgard powered car is nearing our starting point, but I misunderstood. When I heard Shoreline, I was thinking we were going to be on the beach. Apparently not. But can we do this? How good is your Kerbal Paddle, Billgard? Let's find out. Welp, I guess they say everything is better down where it's wetter. <laughs> and as long as you guys are happy, actually, uh, you guys better put on your suits, because uh, you're going to get a little wet here. Not EVA report, although that's fine. EVA suit. EVA suit. EVA suit. EVA suit. And EVA... Nope. EVA suit. I like all the different colors. It's pretty nice. So how close do we have to be before this uh, triggers? 
And if the other one, if we have to go uphill for it, I don't think we're going to be able to get there. Uh, if I hit my brakes, will I actually stop? No. No, my wheels have no effect, apparently. Is it 250, or is it going to be something even fine? Oh, it's finer than that. I don't know if I can get much closer than this, because it's above me. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to have a nice drive by the sea. Why do you do this to me, Kerbal Space Program? Uh, we're getting further away. Well, Billgard, I hope that you're happy with yourself. You've doomed everyone. Actually, uh, really, you've only doomed yourself. Because you can leave your seat. Fly, my Kerbals! Nothing to see here. And Billgard. Sorry, dude. Wait, what does that mean? State ready. We don't have... Oh, do we have time warp on? Okay, we did. Uh, well, I can't interact with you. Oh, the brakes are on. Uh, can't interact with the brakes either. Ah, because you're a passenger. You can't control things. There's the other folks. Uh, still floating up. Here they come! You survived! Or have you? Oh, no nice satisfying splash noise. Well, folks, I would say this is Kerbal Space Program in a nutshell. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the Kraken bite. Like, for real, guys. Better watch out for a Kraken. This is where they feed. Bye-bye. Wait. Nope. 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 Ah, bye-bye.